fellow fellow warriors, welcome back to Fan Scene. Greg here, and today I have for you, Star Wars is Marvel. All movies are Marvel. <laughs> so, you know, you know, the idea for this video, uh, it's, it's sort of be going to be a little bit of a fun video and a little, like, where I'm filling with modern entertainment, as usual. Uh, but I was going through Amazon looking for movies to buy because I'm a physical media collector. I, I like physical media, and sometimes I can't get to a store, and this is my one of the best options to do is go online. And so I was going through their deals uh, of the week, and uh, I came across this right here. It says, Dill's on Marvel, and it shows a picture of the Star Wars uh, box set there. Uh, as of the making of this video, that is still up there on their Dill's and movies and TV section on Amazon. Uh, <laughs> so I saw that, and, it, and if you actually click on it, it takes you to a uh, foreign uh, release of Star Wars 1, 2, and 3, the original trilogy for Blu-ray, uh, to purchase. Uh, but I saw that, and it just it made me laugh. It made me think, you know, like... Our, our Star Wars is Marvel now. I mean, Disney is uh, owns Lucasfilms. Uh, Kathleen L Kennedy has basically destroyed uh, uh, Lucasfilm, as, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I have not been a fan of the new Star Wars uh, content. I have not really been a fan of the new Marvel content. And I, you know, I used to think, um, you know, I would be so excited for all these things at one point in time, but I'm not excited for them anymore. And it, you know what it really reminded me of? It reminded me of, like, if you drink pop or soda. Some people call it pop. Some people call it soda, depending on where you live. But if you live in the South, pretty much all soda or pop is Coke. And that's what this feels like. And this is a great example of what I'm talking about. Where is the Mr. Pibb? I told your secretary to pack Mr. Pibb. It's the only Coke I like. <laughs> I love that movie Slither, but yes, most people call all pop in, in the South uh, Coke because Coke is so popular, so mainstream. It's what everybody began to drink. It's one that everybody knows. And much like in Hollywood, once uh, something catches on, they continue to churn it out over and over and over and over again. Uh, I mean, it is a money-making uh, business, and I don't condemn them for that. All movies are made for money. Uh, I just truly feel like the artistry and the entertainment in these movies have been lost. You know, the original Star Wars trilogy was amazing. It was something original, something fun, something that so many people grow up on and still grow up on and still love and enjoy. And uh, I, I really think Marvel Phase 1, 2, and 3 were, was something original, was something fun. I still think Captain America Winter Soldier is a great example of how you could do an amazing superhero movie because it is essentially a 70s political thriller as a superhero movie. And Marvel doesn't take those chances anymore. And it's not so, I, you know, it's basically these studios and these executives. Uh, this is right here. George Lucas, this still brings true today. I know he sold Lucasfilm to Disney, but I personally, I think he was tricked and I think they screwed him over. And, uh, you know, even he, he and Bob Iger have all said this. You know, Bob Iger basically said he tricked him. Uh, George Lucas in his memoir, which I actually have his, his uh, biography, says he's happy to just go his own way because he felt like, you know, they screwed him. But anyways, these words right here from George Lucas, I think still ring true to this day. The problem is the studio executives. The problem is that the studios used to be owned by people who cared about the movies. Now they're corporations. They don't love movies. They don't go to movies. They don't know what a movie is. And they do focus groups to try to determine who will go see a movie. And Hollywood does that. And All Hollywood does that. And they try to change the story to fit what they polling think, results. what the polling results are. And you can't do that. That's not the way you make movies. Um, because it is not a business. You know, it's an art form. That's true. I mean, that is true. It's all studio exec. We see it now with uh, what's going on with the streaming services. You know, HBO Max is now Max, and they're combining all these things and taking and pulling off things on these streaming services. Uh, you know, we see it with Disney Plus, and uh, you know, not. I don't want to put anybody on. I mean, if you like the new Star Wars stuff and you like the new Marvel stuff, that's all fine. Uh, all are welcome here. All thoughts and opinions are welcome here. I'm just this. I'm going to always speak truthfully and tr honestly to anybody that watches my videos. This is who I am. This is how. I feel and uh, I hope we can find some common ground and get along with that but I really feel you know I don't think all movies are Marvel but it does feel like Star Wars has become Marvel Marvel has become Marvel if you know what I mean because I mean like I said the first three phases of Marvel were something unique they told stories in a different way superior stories in a different way like I said a 70s political thriller and stuff like that now it's basically basically like we've like people are talking about here that it's a uh, it's almost AI generated as is. The Marvel movies, big blood, big, big budget blockbusters say that three times fast. <laughs> you know, it all seems like it's all 
you know, ones and zeros. And it just, it's, it's soulless, lacking entertaining, uh, lacking character story development. I, I miss old school, big budget blockbuster movies. I can remember growing up as a kid and being super excited to see the original Jurassic Park or, uh, you know, Terminator 2 and like those big budget, like sci-fi, even like when the summer came around, you were always excited to see what the big new blockbuster movies are going to be. And, it, it, you know, sometimes they maybe didn't have the best character development, but it always felt like they had character story and development and these big explosions and everything, which I don't mind. It's, but in nowadays, it just seems like everything is just about how big can we make it? How flashy can we make it? Uh, how by the numbers can we make it? And in certain cases, put in messaging and, you know, a lot of messaging nowadays. And, uh, you know, it, it seems like these companies are just making these movies. And yes, they're still making billions, but some of them are losing billions legitimately losing billions billions on their entertainment how can they be fine with that uh, you know some of these movies that they they pushing and spending 200 million dollars i'm like take i mean it's not a movie but the will of tv series they, how much money did they put in and out of disney plus and it's already gone within like six or nine months of its release it's gone they pulled it from the streaming service I mean, that just seems wasteful money, but of course they're going to write it off, tax cut, get money back in return. Uh, but yeah, I don't really think, you know, all, like I said, I don't really think all movies are Marvel, but it feel, it, and when I say Marvel, it's more like content. It's content. It's not entertainment. It's, it's content. And Marvel has become a Marvel movie. Uh, you know, Star Wars has become Marvel. Uh, Indiana Jones and The Dial of Destiny. I am not looking forward to that. Uh, I just, I do not want to see a broken down Indiana Jones who is showed up by his goddaughter. Uh, you know, I just, it, I can tell from looking at it, it's not going to be the Indiana Jones I like. Uh, you know, I like Indiana Jones, uh, you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, uh, The Last Crusade. I really would say would have stopped at The Last Crusade. It has that great ending shot of Indiana Jones, his father, uh, just riding off into the sunset. And it, just, it felt like that's where it needed to end. And then, of course, we got Kingdom of Crystal Skull, and that was with George Lucas and Steven Spielberg, and it, it wasn't very good. And this this movie, you can tell it's not – it's soulless. It seemed – it's already almost like three hours long. It seems like a bloated, big-budget, Marvel-esque, Disney-esque, content-driven movie uh, made for the 2023, you know, the 2020s. You know, it doesn't it doesn't scream any antigens to me. It doesn't scream fun. I, I really believe that uh, you know, most modern. I mean, chalk it up to me getting older. Chalk it up to me uh, finding different movies that I didn't grow. You know, that I didn't grow up with. I mean, I I found so many movies through collecting physical media and getting because I'm a physical media collector, like I mentioned, and and that's why the how this all came about was finding Star Wars is Marvel and Amazon, but like just finding movies here re recently because we're in like this golden age i mean yeah i would say like a golden age of physical media where we're getting so much we're getting so much uh like cult movies and original stuff like we grew up in the 80s or movies that have been lost that are some of them are finally making their way to blu-ray and stuff for the first time or movies that i missed as a kid that are just coming out on so many physical media physical copies and i've been finding so many new ones and stuff like that and i don't know if maybe that has sort of geared my uh, thing away from like Hollywood, big budget blockbuster movies or movies in general. I mean, uh, I love big budget blockbuster movies. I have uh, most of the Marvel movies there. I have like, um, if you, I know you can't see them. I, I really should show you guys one day, but I have like a lot of the superheroes, uh, Dis, uh, DC stuff right here. I don't really do Disney. I never really have, but I mean, I got Tron. I got Tron Legacy. I got, you know, so many stuff. I like those big, you know, I got Robocop was a classic and, and you know, that's considered a big budget movie. Uh, but it was awesome. It was something original and creative. I think that's what's really being lost. It's not so much everything. I, I, like I said, I keep saying Marvel, but it's like the marvelousness of movies. Movies have become this Marvel formula, uh, jokey uh, content, just overuse of CGI. And I, that sucks too, because I really truly did like the Marvel Universe. And, you know, in some cases, it's okay to let things in. Like I said, and last crusade, it was okay to let Indiana Jones go there. The prequel trilogy, it was okay to end at the prequel trilogy, as far as I'm concerned. You know what? And as far as I'm concerned, it was okay to end the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it at Infinity War. You could have stopped there. I know it's a billion-dollar franchise, and they're still going to keep making them and making them, and that's the problem. They're still making them because they're still getting that money in return. And, yes, the returns are coming back littler than they used to be. 
They truly are. You can look it up. They're coming back uh, lower than they used to be. But uh, they could. They should have ended at, at Infinity War or Endgame and uh, maybe let it rest for a bit. I mean, maybe you could wait it like three or four years because uh, I know they can't wait that long. I, personally, I would have just ended it, period, and waited like maybe 10 years. But they could have waited like three or four, maybe five years, and they could have started up a new phase of Marvel with different – like other characters they didn't use without having to swap out characters and say, this is a mantle. It can be passed on. No, it's not. Steve Rogers is Captain America, plain and simple. Uh, Peter Parker is Spider-Man, plain and simple. It's not a mantle. You can make a new character and say this is a Spider-Man, but that's not Spider-Man. It's it's not. But he can still be a cool character. Uh, you just don't try to say it's Spider-Man and try to replace that character, you know, Peter Parker with that character or whatever, because uh, that's just not. It just doesn't work. It, it hasn't worked. It doesn't work. Uh, but anyways, what I'm getting here is that I kind of wanted this to be a funny video and I kind of got into a little rant here. Sorry about that. Cause I just, I thought that was truly funny to see this Star Wars as Marvel <laughs> it being sold as a Marvel. I just thought that was kind of funny. And, uh, you know, I wanted to do a little video on that and just, I wanted to joke a little more, but I got a little more serious. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Do you think Star Wars is Marvel? All movies are Marvel or Essentially what I'm saying is all movies are content now. They're not movies or entertainment. And maybe it's maybe I'm older, whatever. So let me know what you guys think about all that in the comment section down below. And if you liked what you saw here, maybe consider hitting the like button, subscribing, and uh, hitting the bell for notifications. That would be awesome if I earned your subscription or possibly sharing the video out for everybody to see or joining and becoming a channel member. That would be really cool if, if, you, if you did that because that helps me a lot here. And shout out to all my channel members. I thank you guys all for being channel members here. Appreciate you guys. And to everybody watching, Thank you all for watching this video and sticking with me and hearing hearing me blabber and say crazy stuff. <laughs> I appreciate it. And wherever you are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Always support physical media. It is the superior format. Godspeed.